COVID has not like suddenly disappeared. COVID still exists in Texas, in the United States, and across the globe. But it is clear from the recoveries, from the vaccinations, from the reduced hospitalizations, and from the safe practices that Texans are using, that state mandates are no longer needed. So today, I'm issuing a new executive order that rescinds most of the earlier executive orders. Effective next Wednesday, all businesses of any type are allowed to open 100%. That includes any type of entity in Texas. Also, I am ending the statewide mask mandate. Now, despite these changes, remember this. Removing state mandates does not end personal responsibility or the importance of caring for your family members and caring for your friends and caring for others in your community. Personal vigilance to follow the safe standards is still needed to contain COVID. It's just that now state mandates are no longer needed. To stay safe, Texans should continue, continue following medical advice on preventing COVID just as they do on other medical issues. That is exactly how Texans were able to deal with infectious diseases in the, in the past, like H1N1. They followed safe practices and they got medical treatment when it was needed. For a year now, Texans have wrestled with COVID and they have learned best how to conduct their own lives. For example, if businesses want to limit capacity or implement additional safety protocols, they have the right to do so. It is their business and they get to choose to operate their business the way they want to. At this time, however, people and businesses don't need the state telling them how to operate. Now listen, I know that some local officials are concerned that opening the state 100% could lead to a worsening of COVID in their communities. And my executive order addresses that concern. If COVID hospitalizations in any of the 22 hospital regions in Texas rise above 15% of the hospital bed capacity in that region for seven straight days, then a county judge in that region may use COVID mitigation strategies in their county. However, under no circumstance can a county judge put anybody in jail for not following COVID orders and no penalties can imposed for failing to wear a face mask. Also, if restrictions are imposed at the county level, all entities must be allowed to operate at at least a 50% capacity. More importantly though, we believe that there will not be the threshold met at hospitalizations for county judges to even consider uh, implementing those strategies because Texas will continue working collaboratively with all counties to speed the vaccination process. So putting this all together, Texas is doing more than ever to save lives and to reduce the spread of COVID. We must now do more to restore livelihoods and normalcy in the lives of Texans. We will continue to grieve for all who have suffered through this pandemic. And we will always mourn the loss of all lives. We are relieved that Texas now has better tools and more knowledge than ever before to help our fellow Texans combat COVID. Today's announcement does not abandon the safe practices that 
Texans have mastered over the past year. Instead, it's a reminder that each person has their own role to play in their own personal safety, as well as in the safety of others. It's a reminder that individual safety is managed every day as a matter of personal responsibility, rather than by government mandate. Individual responsibility is a corollary to individual freedom. We can have both. Today's announcement ensures that Rudy Rosales and his family, just like all businesses and families in Texas, have the freedom to determine their own destiny. Just like all Texans, they can tap into their own self-reliance to seize the opportunities that are so unique in Texas and that make our state the most exceptional in America. May God bless you all, and may God forever bless the great state of Texas.